The future of SpaceX's Starship program is facing some serious challenges. At Starbase, tensions are high, as the FAA recently canceled crucial public meetings that were supposed to discuss SpaceX's proposal for up to 25 Starship launches per year. What does this mean for SpaceX and their ambitious plans? Well, a lot. Last month, the FAA excited SpaceX fans with the possibility of increasing Starship launches to up to 25 per year. To move forward, the FAA had planned public meetings to discuss this proposal. In-person meetings were scheduled for August 13th and 15th, with a virtual meeting set for the 20th. But in a surprising twist, the FAA announced the cancellation of these sessions. While they haven't provided an official reason, various sources suggest that it might be due to objections from community members and organizations. These groups have raised concerns that the FAA's review process might not have thoroughly addressed safety issues. They've also pointed out that the review documents were not available in enough languages and that the public comment period was too short. Environmental concerns are also on the table, with some focusing on the potential noise pollution and overall environmental impact of Starship operations at SpaceX's Starbase. Although there haven't been any reported injuries so far, these concerns have clearly put pressure on the FAA, possibly leading to the cancellations. This could have significant implications for SpaceX's schedule, especially for the upcoming flight. Musk had estimated that Flight 5 was only about three weeks away, with all the necessary hardware ready to go. Now, the main obstacle seems to be getting the FAA's approval. Despite the setbacks, SpaceX remains determined, and their supporters are hopeful that Flight 5 will proceed without further delays. When you do a good job, you don't always get celebrated. Sometimes you attract negative attention, too. Meanwhile, SpaceX is also dealing with criticism from media agencies, which reported that the company might have violated regulations regarding water use during Starship testing. According to these reports, SpaceX discharged polluted water into the surrounding area without the necessary permits. The reports claimed that the wastewater contained high levels of pollutants, including mercury, which could be harmful to both humans and wildlife. In response to these allegations, SpaceX strongly denied any wrongdoing. SpaceX also pointed out that they have implemented measures to monitor soil and air quality, including mercury levels, and have taken steps to prevent wastewater from contaminating local groundwater. They assert that their systems are safe and that the accusations are baseless. Despite these challenges, SpaceX remains committed to their mission. In just a few years, the private space company, which everyone predicted was doomed to fail, has not only revolutionized space exploration, but has also generated billions and billions of dollars in revenue. So, how did SpaceX become a dominant force in the industry? And just how much have they made this year? Join us as we unravel it all. As we all know, SpaceX has achieved numerous milestones over the years. It was the first private company to develop a liquid-based propellant rocket that successfully reached orbit. And even more impressive, the Falcon 9's landing marked the first time an orbital-class rocket was able to return to Earth and land upright after a space mission. However, beyond its impressive technological accomplishments, SpaceX has also established itself as a major player in the aerospace industry. It generates a huge chunk of its money by providing launch services to the government and commercial clients. After famously developing the Crew Dragon spacecraft for NASA in the early 2010s, the company now regularly sends astronauts to the ISS for long-term missions. Additionally, Elon Musk has stated that the company plans to launch 148 missions this year. With over 50 successful launches already under its belt, SpaceX appears well on its way to achieving this goal. When you add up all the money made from these projections, SpaceX is expected to generate $5 to $7 billion in revenue from rocket launches this year. And according to data from S&P Global Market Intelligence, that amount is more than the revenue most aerospace companies generated from their space business last year, suggesting that 2024 could be the year SpaceX truly becomes a giant in the industry. However, you might be surprised to learn that most of the company's revenue does not come from its famous launch projects. Instead, the real backbone of SpaceX's financial success is its Starlink satellite network. How? You might be wondering. Well, 
This is because there's only so much revenue that can be generated from launching rockets into space, and SpaceX understands this. Since Starlink operates on a subscription-based model and targets a global market where internet infrastructure is lacking, this leads to a huge revenue opportunity. This isn't to say that SpaceX's launch services do not play a pivotal role in generating revenue, but with Starlink's 6,000 satellite constellation being the largest provider of such services and with a high subscriber base in the US, the business is projected to generate as much as $7 billion in 2024. Starlink has been on the rise over the past few years. Its revenue grew from $1.9 billion in 2022 to $4.2 billion in 2023. This growth has been due to SpaceX's dedication to improving connection speeds and reliability. So far, Starlink's competitive pricing and ability to provide high-speed internet in regions with no internet services have given it a strong market advantage. This suggests that if SpaceX continues this trend and expands its Starlink user base, the company's revenue is likely to soar. Regarding how much SpaceX might make this year, it might interest you to know that on November 6, 2023, Bloomberg News reported a projected rise in revenue from $9 billion to about $15 billion, with Starlink expected to play a major role. Starlink is projected to reach 4 million users by the end of 2024, which will contribute an estimated $6.8 billion to $9 billion in revenue. This estimate is due to its expansion into new international markets in the coming months. Starlink is looking forward to a potential regulatory approval in India and its continued growth in the US and Europe. When you factor in about $1 billion in additional revenue from various SpaceX ventures, such as the demonstration of in-orbit refueling procedures for NASA's Tipping Point project, supporting a private astronaut Polaris Dawn mission in August, the revenue for its work on the Project Artemis moon landing effort and providing military communication services via its new Starshield division, it is actually possible that SpaceX revenue could exceed $15 billion this year. While these projects contribute to SpaceX's revenue, one major breakthrough has increased the company's potential even further. Starship's successful orbital test has opened new doors for SpaceX, expanding its capabilities and future prospects. This achievement has not only demonstrated SpaceX's technological prowess, but has also solidified its position as a key player in future space exploration. As a result, SpaceX has secured contracts worth billions of dollars for future lunar and Mars missions and is currently valued at $210 billion. At that valuation, SpaceX is currently worth about a third of Musk's other main business, Tesla, and is the second most valuable private company in the world, behind TikTok parent company ByteDance. But while SpaceX has been on a roll this year, not everyone is convinced these numbers are real. Some critics continue to question the validity of these numbers, especially when it comes to Starlink. One skeptic pointed out that SpaceX might be inflating its figures by charging Starlink market rates for launches and counting that as revenue. They even suggested that this could account for two to three billion dollars of what's been listed as revenue in SpaceX's books. But while these arguments highlight the financial tactics used by big companies, it's clear that Starlink's rapid expansion and the surge in launches are real and undeniable. Even with lower pricing in certain regions, Starlink's overall user base is booming. So while the financial maneuvering might raise eyebrows, the growth and revenue numbers speak for themselves, making SpaceX's future look brighter than ever. Another important factor that counters the criticism is the latest technological improvements the SpaceX team has been working on. As we get closer to September, SpaceX has just achieved another major breakthrough. In a tweet posted on the 2nd of August, Elon Musk revealed that the highly anticipated Raptor 3 is complete and ready for use. You might be wondering, why is Raptor 3 better than Raptor 2 and Raptor 1? Well, according to SpaceX, unlike the others, its engineers have successfully moved many of its external parts inward. What this means is that the new design is much simpler and, based on the images we've seen so far, comes with an appearance that makes it a lot easier to use and navigate. 
And although Elon Musk has previously been tight-lipped, he revealed in a follow-up tweet that the Raptor 3 doesn't require any heat shields, completely eliminating both the mass and complexity associated with them. This variant of the Raptor 3 has also been reported to provide 21% more thrust than the Raptor 2 and is 7% lighter. The Raptor 3 engine's development is more than just a technological breakthrough. It's a key part of SpaceX's strategy to maintain its edge in the industry and increase its revenue. By simplifying its design, increasing its thrust, and reducing its weight, the Raptor 3 not only signifies an advancement for both SpaceX and the entire space industry, but also plays a major role in reducing cost. Moreover, the improved efficiency of the Raptor 3 could play an important role in future missions, including contracts for lunar and Mars exploration. This innovation is just the latest example of how SpaceX intends to stay ahead of the competition and exceed its revenue projections this year. Of course, the space industry is unpredictable, and only time will tell if SpaceX will meet or surpass its 2024 goals. That being said, we won't know for sure how much revenue SpaceX generated until the official numbers are published next year. But until then, stick around, space enthusiasts, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.